to prove that he was black. I had to get his, his credit. If you have to take a picture with your dad to prove you're black, don't say nigga. Just find something else to say. Say wigga. Say ninja. You know, like... I, I hate that pillow. It's gone. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. We're, we're a dose of reality. Vicious is in this What's going on, bitches? Yo, what's good with you guys, um, man? We- I'm, like, extremely hungover, so I'm gonna, you know, have to fucking flu game this shit. Flu Damn. game it. Yeah, I'm a flu... But, hey, the man scored 35, so I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> but, no, I'm flu gaming this bitch, for sure. That's what's up, my boy. I'm I'm kind of hungover, too, but ain't nothing serious. It's your, it's, it's, it was serious. your birthday, though, this this week. Yeah. Happy fucking birthday. Yeah, man, happy birthday. How happy was that? Birthday. How was uh, man, it, your birthday day? It was great, you know, like I was around friends and family, bro. Yeah. I couldn't really ask for nothing more than that, bro. Like that was cool. Got fucked up, got wasted, of course. Well, that whole week I wanna say I was I was fucking wasted, bro. So I mean <laughs> I had a good time, man. I enjoyed myself. Absolutely. Good. No. Yeah, good, good. I um I think the day before I linked up with you and we got uh we drank downtown and uh um... Yeah, bro. So you are a Chicago guy. So I I just want to start off the because I have my glasses on today, so <laughs> my glasses, my glasses. Um, okay. I did want to start out with this because obviously you're from the city. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Johnson. Do you care that he might have gotten a blowjob because he he was mayor? I mean, honestly, I don't really get off into politics like that, but um, I know he is black. He's African American, and that's I don't know, bro. Like, is he though? Yeah, is he? he is. Yeah. Are you sure? You positive? The nigga blacker than Aaron, bro. Last, last time I see check. <laughs> I was just <laughs> checking. I mean, yeah, bro. I guess I don't know like his full ethnicity or not, but yeah. I I was he at one. White. I, I he don't might know, be a white guy. He might be white, bro. It's, Brandon? I don't know. Brandon, Brandon Johnson. That's... I thought his name was Richard for the longest time. I really thought I was, was calling him Dick Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yo, that's like the funniest thing because it's like a double entendre. It's like Dick Johnson. Yeah. It's crazy. I was like, that's a crazy th- name to name your kid. That's wild. Yeah, nah. I was watching his um acceptance speech and he sounded pretty good. You know, like, I don't know, bro. Like I said, I don't get off into all that, but yeah. you know, hopefully he could do the right thing for Chicago because we definitely need like a good some mayor. Ba- yeah, Absolutely. a good mayor, bro. After Lori Lightfoot, you know, no shade to her, but like I felt like she could have did some things way better. I got a question. I got a question. How many um how many babies do you think you have to kiss in order to become mayor? Oh, hundreds. Shit. I would say like a good three and make three make three of those three of them white babies yeah, yeah not on the lips babies. though right no nah, of course not not on the lips yo i was not. gonna say about brandon johnson like you know as much as like um i like delory lightfoot like she was great great mayor i yeah. do like want somebody who's in mayor or who's in office or who's the president to like not be able to suck good you know, because I feel like if you're like, what happened to this being a wholesome podcast? <laughs> but this shit just, just took a wild ass left dick, turn, bro. What the fuck? It's like with the we're three minutes in, and you want to talk about? No, go ahead. I just feel like, like if you're, if I'm gonna look to you as like the mayor or the president, like you shouldn't be able to like be a good. <laughs> and like, I feel like Lori Lightfoot probably like. I'm not saying she's like. um um, Mia Khalifa, but I'm pretty sure that she could, you know, you know, suck a mean dick. So it's just like it's unfortunate. I mean, know? wasn't she like um a lesbian? Yeah. Yeah, there's no she such has thing. A, she has but a I'm, wife. I'm, I'm pretty sure you gotta schmooze and kiss a lot of ass in order to become a you But know. kissing ass and sucking dick is two different I think things. that's about the same. No, absolutely. I think it's not. on the level of the same. Yo, I've kissed a lot of girls' asses. I've never sucked a dick. It's two different things. No, bro, but if you want to talk about it in context. I think kissing ass and sucking dick. Oh, I don't it's think it's. Put I there. think it's. I don't think it's any anywhere yeah, close. All right, all right, that, all right. No close. No close. Kissing ass is like a phrase, you know. People say, right? But like, I mean, I'm sure if Brendan you, if Johnson talking like in a literal real way, ass. You're gonna no, no, tell no. me that like there's not a phrase saying, oh, like if this guy is obsessed with somebody, like he's on their dick. Yeah, no, that's that's a also phrase. a phrase, right? Yeah. So, but not I'm thinking sucking in this, dick. Though. I'm thinking in this context. On you know his what dick, I mean? Well, not sucking dick. You know, yeah. Lori Lightfoot is not doing anything like that. Where she's not sucking dick? No, she's got cobwebs in there. No, I swear in to God, mouth? yo, I. I'm, I'm just saying, like bro. That. You said first, you said Michelle Obama. Now you're talking about Lori Lightfoot, bro. You don't have to. 
There's a point in time where you got to draw the fucking line, bro. Well, you like, know, I'm not, I'm not that, being, I wouldn't be down okay. there. I'm okay, I'm okay with black women. I like queens. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, you know, black women are beautiful and all mm-hmm. that, but absolutely, there's a, there's a certain point when you get in life where you have to draw the line yes. on certain stuff, bro. Right. And I feel I like Lori Lightfoot is where you draw that line, bro. Lori like, Lightfoot, for sure. I, uh, Michelle Obama is one, but Lori Lightfoot, no, bro. That's. That's all. That's off the table. I got off it. Table, it makes I, have sense. A, I have a pretty crazy situation <laughs> about drawing the line. Have you ever been in school and maybe like junior high, so fifth, sixth, seventh grade, eighth grade, and there's that one kid that always is in the bathroom and he's never using the stall. He's always using the stand-up urinal and he's got his pants all the way to his ankles when you walk into the bathroom. You've never had a situation happen to you like that? No, I had a situation where it was a guy actually taking a shit, bro, in, in the bathroom. With the stall door open? Not Yeah, with the stall door open. It was, He didn't have it locked. It was just open. It was cracked, and he was taking a shit. He had his pants down in the bathroom. smelled like shit, bro, and I was walked right out the bathroom. Was he dropping and flushing or no? No, he was actively taking a shit, bro. Okay. I walked in. Dropping and flushing is He crazy. was dropping the shirt turd off, as I was dropping. Yeah, off. bro, and I, I, I left immediately, bro. I was like, what the fuck, bro? That was in school. That was in, when I was in high school. Yeah, so the the kid that I'm I'm thinking of right now, I've seen that a lot. I've seen it happen a lot. Uh, there was this one kid at my school that every time he walked into the bathroom, he had his pants around his ankles and he had his shirt up. It's kind of weird. And he was like trying to target practice the urinal. I'm not saying the kid wasn't on oh, the spectrum. Nah, I'm sure the kid was on the spectrum. Uh, but I mean, the craziest part about the whole situation is is that that kid used to bully me. <laughs> what? That's that, crazy, bro. That kid used to bully me. He was like, "Have you ever heard of like um, what what is it called? What is it called? The the the, the hard strength? The re- strength? Have you ever heard, heard of that? I heard something like that. Yeah. Like I I I don't know. We're gonna probably bleep like, that I out. Feel but... like they yeah they yeah, just yeah. be strong as fuck. Yeah, no, no they're reason, just bro. super strong. They have heightened senses because it's the like other senses from mice aren't. and men. Right. Yes. Like like what is it, Lenny? Lenny from mice and men. Yeah. Of my but I'm just saying, that. when it comes down to it, yeah, that kid, um, that kid used to bully me. I, I think the worst thing that he ever did to me was uh, he used to catch me in the hallway, and he used to, he used to catch you in the hallway bro. and pull your pants down, bro. Why are you laughing at me right now? <laughs> Can I finish? I'm trying to share this endearing story with Vicious right now, bro. I'm trying to relate to crossing the line. I'm, I'm getting there, bro. You, you can't. You're yeah, unable. Definitely to took a left turn so like a motherfucker. You're unable to keep your composure like vicious, bro. Like our guest can keep his composure. You can't keep took... your composure for thirty more seconds. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I apologize. I think one of the worst things that he ever did to me, bro, was he would run up to me in the hallway and he would slap me in the face. What? <laughs> What? Are you gonna let me finish? Are you gonna let me wait, finish? Wait, how wait, how old were you guys? Like what grade were you in? No, like I said, I was maybe like fifth, sixth grade. Uh you was letting that shit slide. That's what I'm saying. This is where the line crosses, okay? This is where the line crossed. I'm 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 relaying back to so he slapped me in the face. And then he grabbed my arm and gave me the worst Indian burn of my life. Damn. Yeah, he was a full fledged bully, man. Yeah. Listen, bro. <laughs> And he would pull his pants down to go pee, and and, and hold and hold yeah. his shirt up, bro. Yeah, he would pull his pants down to go pee. Absolutely, absolutely. Listen, listen though, this is where it crossed the line. I was in a huge dilemma. I was in a huge dilemma. What would you do? If somebody that's on the spectrum holds their pants down when they go pee, right? And then is bullying you at a young age. I mean, do you kick his ass because. The guy is like practically. That's Man, crazy. You know? it's not. It's... What do you do? It's or not. Yo, we if somebody gonna have put their hands on you, bro. Like, what do you? What do you do though? If someone put their hands on you, bro, regardless of their situation, bro, it it's just a natural instinct to want to yeah. retaliate. You know, want to hit their ass back, bro. Yeah. Like. Bro, no, you're not getting away with that. I don't care. Like, if you have a problem, bro, you should have enough training, and your parents should have taught you not to put your fucking hands on people, bro. Absolutely. And if you do, you got to face the fucking consequences, bro. It ain't that's that's a fact. <laughs> fuck that shit, bro. No, I I, I totally understand. I yeah, but I, think... I understand yo, you having compassion for them, you know. Right. But you know, you got it's a it's a point in time where you got to draw the line on certain stuff, bro. 
I don't even think it was necessarily compassion. I think it was more so in the sense of like, where where am I going to go from here? I, am I going to get brownie points? <laughs> you know what I mean? Am I like gonna, he was worrying about the wrong shit, to, bro. <laughs> am I going to ascend to the next level if I if I beat beat this kid up? That's what I was thinking about, man, at that age. I know what you're hell, bro. Well, if you do that shit. I uh, don't know. <laughs> It all served a purpose because at the end of the day, I believe that kid is sitting in prison right now because he ended up shooting up a school. So Jesus I'm still here. Right. Everything's okay. Damn. No, I um That's crazy. I yeah. do want to say before we get too deep in the episode, happy 420, guys. Oh yeah, happy 420. Is it 420? Um, oh well, yeah, it is for this episode. It oh, is am I gonna have to uh, hold on? Yeah. It is 420. Yeah, we're gonna get high. Why do you say it like that? You're the biggest fucking lame I've ever met. You know what this kid does? You know what this kid does? He shows up to fucking work after I pick his ass up to come to work, and then we do a minimal amount of recording, and then he ends up sleeping in the back of my fucking car all the way back to the house like this is some sort of fucking Uber. And I said I wanted this to be a wholesome podcast, and now you grind my fucking gears, bro. <laughs> Over here with your no attitude, no that's emphasis in your voice. I'm not even gonna lie. That's literally what happens every, every single, single time, time, bro. You're a fucking lame. No, but nah. all right. If I be fair to myself, I'd be waking up early as fuck to to come over. Excuses, so. bro. Those are all excuses. And then I go to the. Then we get a good gym skiing. So you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta. I gotta get some sleep somehow, somewhere. I mean, Listen, yeah. I, I feel you. I would. I did like. I want to tell a story because um. If you stopped masturbating so much, bro, <laughs> then you wouldn't feel so tired. You have no testosterone left in your body, bro. None. That's what it is, dude. Dude, if I don't if I don't masturbate and like spread my seed like in the toilet, then I'm gonna like come in some lady and get her pregnant. So I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna bring children into this world. Why does everything always have to be with sex with you? I'm a sex addict. This I have a true. problem. We talked about this. Yes, no, we talked we about, talk this. about this. I have a problem. I, for, I forgot about that. I don't know how you can forget about something like that. No, I don't know. How, how did you forget that I'm a sex addict, that I love sex? No, it's like every man is a sex addict, bro. That's, you think so? Yeah. I do. Mm. I mean, yes. But again, like, I think that you get about 10 years, 10 prime years, right? 10 of them? Yeah. Okay. Because when you first start fucking, like, yeah, you may have, like, some sort of stamina, but you don't know what you're doing. So you're just, like, you're literally just wasting your time, right? Once you get, like, a few years in the game after you start fucking, you start to reach your prime. You get 10 prime years of just beating shit down with, like, you know, no fucks given. I think know? it depends on everybody, though, because I heard recently I say that, that um, oh, appreciate you. I heard recently that, uh, when it comes down to obviously like more obese people, it's not obviously desirable or obviously they're putting less effort in. And if you're a bigger person for a certain amount of time, then I mean, in your 10 years or you're big your whole life, then at that point they would exit out the rule. You know what I mean? That's facts. Cause when I was fat as fuck trying to fuck, like, dude, I'd be sweating like a stuffed pig. Like a, I, a stuffed pig? Yeah. Why would you use that reference? I don't know. But that's what they I felt sweat? Like. Dude, it was like it was nasty. Like it was like you you got to fuck with the lights off like and you have to change the seats after. Not because Shorty came all over it because like we just sweated all over that shit. It was awful. Yeah. Bro, have you heard what's going on with uh Budweiser? No, I haven't. I I just bought a pack of Budweisers. Is there did, are they recalling or something? Because I just drank some last night. It wasn't necessarily a recall. It okay. was the fact that the I believe vice president or president of um, what is it, Anheuser Busch, um, decided to delegate a decision based off the other people that are working there are old and uptight and don't have a good sense of humor. So she decided to post her face on the cans of the um, uh, Bud Light, Budweiser. I believe it was okay. the Bud Light cans that uh, she posted her face on. And then there was a huge recoil. Kid Rock, uh, a bunch of other artists dropped out of the ring because obviously they were 
helping in the funding of this company of course. and uh they don't want to advocate for it anymore and people are losing their jobs because nobody's buying the beer anymore supposedly and it's just uh it's kind of crazy what has happened over a uh, small decision mm. so like budweiser is like a household name for beer bro a lot of people drink that shit not only that Absolutely. but know your customers how yeah. long you been doing this game well you know yeah, what I, mean? I mean i i yeah bud light is is a like I hate to say it, but it's like a redneck beer. Like that's like the the yeah. shit they love. Like yeah. you go and get a Bud Light, and you know, and like so. I mean, I would. It's think crazy because what if I said that was a black beer? Yeah, I was oh. just thinking that. Like, you know what I mean? What if it was just that's like crazy? The African Aaron, beer you were just shit. you were racist, bro. Keep going. A little bit. Keep going. We're gonna get canceled. You're a racist. Poquito. Keep mm, going. Un poquito. Um, Jesus. <clears throat> No, it is a redneck beer. Um, it is though. It is. And... Uh, it's more of a uh, country style, if you want to call it that way. Con- you know what? There we go. Country, country. style. It's like, a country style yeah, beer. Like chicken or uh, what's that one place? Chicken and waffles. No, that one place that you hate going to. Oh, Indiana. What? What the fuck? Now are we just shit. naming states with a bunch of rednecks in it? Yeah. Uh, what? No, bro. The restaurant, bro. What's it called? Oh, fucking Cracker, Cracker Barrel. Barrel. Yeah, oh, Cracker I never Barrel. go there, bro. Cracker, Cracker Barrel is Barrel. fucking racist as yeah. shit, bro. Nigga, the name, bro. Cracker Barrel. It's got it's got plantation. Bro, they got sorry, bro. Guys. They have fucking a plantation chairs that you can go and sit and take take pictures, pictures in. in. Oh yeah, but go ahead, go ahead. Let's uh let's uh watch this video. All right, let's see. Oh, I'm a businesswoman. I had a really clear job to do when yeah. I took over Bud Light, and it was this brand is in decline. It's been in decline for a really long time. And if we do not attract young drinkers to come and drink this brand, there will be no future for Bud Light. So I had this super clear mandate. It's like, we mm-hmm. need to evolve and elevate this incredibly iconic brand. And my what I brought to that was a belief in, okay, what, is, what, do, what does evolve and elevate mean? It means inclusivity. It means shifting the tone. It means having a campaign that's truly inclusive and feels lighter and brighter and different and appeals to women and to men Mm -hmm. and representation is at sort of the heart of evolution you've got to see people who reflect you in the work and we had this hangover oh that's stupid okay and i'll say why what she said is stupid hey wholesome wholesome i'm sorry i'm gonna bleep that out but i'll say why what, what she said is stupid right because you're saying that Oh, if I put something that that signifies this is part of the LGBTQ community, that like young people will like it. And that's dumb. Like, first of all, Bud Light sucks. It tastes like trash. And I'm not trying to shit on Bud Light, but it, it's not good beer. That's probably the reason why it's declining, because people can buy good beer. Now, it is, is it cheap? Absolutely, it's cheap. That's the only reason why you would buy Bud Light. You go to a club, you've already been drinking, you get a shot of Hennessy, yeah, I don't want to spend $10 on a Modelo. You know what? I'll get a Bud Light, because I'm just going to not really drink it, because I'm drunk. So, like, yeah, it's not a good beer. So, to sit there and say, oh, we're declining in sales, so I'm going to say we're a part, we we support the LGBTQ community to get more (laughs) customers is just dumb. That's just bad marketing, and you're just dumb, like jeez but come like on. a lot of people like go to that crutch that lgbtq crutch and it's whenever dumb. like yeah whenever they shit start declining or you know they stuff start backfiring and they use that as a crutch you know but see that is what has brought a further decline though because now people are boycotting the beer who knows for how long but to sit here and say it's because of inclusivity I don't think that the LGBTQ community even thought for a second that they weren't able to drink Bud Light and Budweiser. I don't think beer right. is specific to uh, a class or or whatever. I, I that is just it sounds like nonsense. It sounds like she really wanted to fulfill something that she wanted to do. Exactly. You know what I mean? That seems and like a personal that. decision. And if you wanted to make a personal decision on a, a multi-billion dollar company, um, then then you can, obviously. It's it's obviously she's running it, but- Terrible marketing, like Aaron said. That's terrible, terrible marketing. marketing. And obviously, like, know your customer base. And, and you know yeah. what? You know what? I'll say this. If you really want to sell more beer, make better goddamn beer. I mean, like, truthfully, like, it. we all know this- that Bud Light tastes like crap. Like, 
if you really want to sell more beer, sit there and say, do what Sierra Mist did. We're going to rebrand. Starry. New. Do something like that. Change your name. Do something and, and change the, the product a little bit or something. Like M&M's. They felt like they weren't selling enough enough M and M's, so they did this whole thing. That's where not why they did it. That's not why they did it. Whatever they did, they, nah, they did because, a marketing strategy. Because the LGBTQ community and a bunch of other people were sitting there and they were boycotting the way that um, the the girl M M&M and M was looking. She's that that she was looking like a like a whore essentially. What? what the girl M and M? Yeah, a, that was the whole backfire. M&M and then on was, top of was that, a whore. And on top of that, the 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 animated characters that they had portraying the different colored M&Ms was not that people weren't taking a liking to that too. So they had to change their so whole structure the for the brown M&M. No, type, hey, type bro, you... no, yeah. Like it's, it's just, it. the whole situation is stupid. <laughs> Yo, it's, we, I, I think we it's have pathetic. to have, we have to have a conversation about the woke That's media crazy. at some point. At some that point. Let's, ridiculous. uh, let's, I, I know you think this beer is shitty, but let's finish this video. I mean, Bud Light had been kind of a brand of, bratty kind of out of touch humor and it was really important <laughs> that we had another approach it's beer what are you why are you overthinking beer like yeah. it's not it yo you know what modelo does they get a new athlete every every couple of months and they they do a little quick backstory on them and say you know this is what th- there's the guy who the mexican guy who who says um you know, I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer Dos Equis. Dos Equis. Like, like, is he the coolest man in the world or some shit? Exactly. Yeah, the most he interesting the, man the most in the world. Interesting, interesting man. Bro, it's simple. You, It's beer. You're overthinking the marketing strategy of beer. Like, it's not like you're selling a car or you're selling even clothes, which is harder to sell. Like, you're 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 selling something that people are clamoring for. At all times. I'm curious to know, like, what the actual problem was, or if this just was a personal decision. Because at the end of the day, if you are running a multi billion dollar or a multi million dollar company and it's working and it's been working for a long time and there hasn't been a decrease in sales, and obviously you have all these sponsors and you have all these people advocating for your beer. And all this, I mean, advertisements up the up the ass with all the years that they put into it. Of course. Then why are you sitting here and making a compulsive decision? And then you're using the reasoning is based on your out of touch, older, um, humorless partners. And let's, like it just doesn't make any sense. Like this has been a, working, right? Let's keep <laughs> it a bean too. Like that's why, like these marketing people. Like there, there needs to start to be an update to to the, these jobs. Like they have to get younger people into these jobs because you watch commercials and they they're fucking trash. And I excuse my language, but there are trash. They're Every not. single commercial nowadays, if it doesn't have like two guys in a commercial or two girls in a commercial or biracial couple in a commercial or uh any kind of ethnic like person in a commercial like it there's no like it just it always has to be a part of something like they're just yeah. trying to target every individual person it's it's sad and it's just like yo like when during february i was getting sick because they had martin luther king you know part of parts of his speeches for a damn ford commercial like what are we doing bro hey like, i was this black history month you gonna get martin luther yeah. king to talk about ford get the fuck <laughs> out of here bro i was pretty uh i was pretty sickened by the whole statue that they did in boston like oh, we talked oh about how it looked like him holding a giant cock oh yeah, yeah they was tripping bro. bogus yeah, did him bogus super still, super bogus yeah they be doing that shit on purpose too that's fucked up no, it's ridiculous. They know what they be doing, man. <laughs> Yo, it's like uh, Whoa Vicky said um, on a on an interview that she doesn't think that Little Nas X is gay, yeah, that he just that. did it for uh for clout and like and all this. And I just said like, Yo, hey, that's a black man getting some money, bro. Like, if he want to be gay, if he thought that that was the the way to get him some bread in his pocket, like. <laughs> go do your thing, man. I, I, I mean, yeah, yo, I, I, I'm never gonna hate on nobody trying to get their bucks up, bro. Like Jake Paul said, "Hey, I'm gonna be a dickhead. I'm probably the nice. He's probably the nicest guy in person." But he said, "Yo, I'm gonna just talk crazy, 
and get me some fights. And apparently, he's supposed to be fighting one of the uh, the Diaz brothers, um, yes, in a yeah. boxing in a boxing match. Didn't know about that. No, no, no. Yeah, your boy. He's gonna fight. Uh, I think it's Nate. I think he's fighting Nate. I think he's fighting Nate in a boxing match. So, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be big. But I mean, you, you know what's pretty funny is that nobody respects Conor McGregor anymore. Oh no, not at he all. had his couple years, three, four, five years of reign, and now you got MGK and old men at the bars trying to knock him out. Like, did you see that video? The old the, man. Yeah, this old man was trying to knock him out at the bar. Damn, Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. MGK was throwing swings at him wherever the fuck they were at. Yeah, I seen it. I mean, MGK. Nobody. Re- yeah, nobody. Re- yeah, and he's Bro, part of the community. MGK serious. Though, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you though. Conor is a real gangster, yo. You think so? I I the man flew from Ireland right on a plane right. with his goons yeah pulled up on a bus okay fucking threw carts at the bus he threw Maybe. one he threw one he threw one cart at the bus I think it was a dolly he threw one dolly at the bus and do- guess do- what do- do- dolly dolly and guess okay. what he did after he did all that shit after he broke into Madison Square Garden he turned himself in yeah he did. He went right to jail. He didn't he Thanks didn't to... fuck around. Man said, you know what? I did it. I know exactly what I did. Man went directly to jail. <laughs> directly. He didn't go he didn't st- he didn't even collect two hundred. Went directly to jail. Found himself out. Oh, he's a gangster. All right. He's a gangster. But nobody respects him now. That's the whole point. He said, All right. So you went yeah, you went through that whole spiel just to get back down to the point that old men are knocking him out at the bars. Hey, if Connor put his hands on somebody though, it's up. Is so it? Like, yeah, he, yeah. I feel like it's a the baby situation. Big. Like you think he's big, and then you see he's really not. Yeah, the ba- mean, no, not big. No, no, but... it is the the baby situation. You know why? Because there's some nigga dead because he tried the baby. That's why. But yeah, oh he yeah, but he beat him to death. Yeah, he, didn't he beat did. Him. He yeah. shot. Yeah, but is yeah. that nigga alive? The um, nigga that tried the baby. Fuck. He no, dead he as fuck. Suck. Oh okay. <laughs> so but uh, it don't matter if he beat him to death or nothing. Involved in that situation. It don't. Hey, he's he's but he showed he's not pussy. I don't know, a bunch of scrappy dudes running I around. Say, yeah, bro, like bunch of scrappy. Hey, shit. body cap a gun and be like, oh yeah, you know, try to act tough with that shit. But of course, if you're really... a fighter outside the ring, you know, it's different, bro. Like if you about that shit, you about it, bro. Inside I... and out the ring. I would like to say, yo, if I was trying you, but... if I ever see logic in public, I'm gonna fuck him him up. That's because you're a racist. No, he's saying like no, this nigga saying logic is black, right? No, no logic yeah. is no logic, logic is a white, is white man. Guys. He's a white guy. Some shit. Nah, logic is a white, white man that says nigga. I'm gonna he's fuck a, him up when I see him. He's a white bro. guy. Yeah, I'm gonna beat guy. the dog shit out of. Out I don't. Of I don't like how sensitive he's gotten to. I feel like that's a discussion. I feel like a bunch of artists when they start getting super sensitive with their music, their music turns like sour. <laughs> Yo, this man said, "I'm not gonna lie. I know that like." He made a, a song with the suicide number, and that's cool. But, like, at the same time, you shouldn't, like, why? Like, what happened to We Get High? Like, I like that logic. That was cool. I and never then, really listen to logic. Like we, that. we get high? Oh, yeah. And so, all I do. My, my ex used to, was like a, a, the biggest logic fan. Because mm. he was um, black? I'm pretty sure she liked black guys. Um,. <laughs> A little bit of jungle fever. That's cool. Nothing wrong that? with that. She, nothing she wrong just with had that. A little jungle fever. Yeah, nothing wrong with uh, that. That is. <laughs> anyway, um, we're allowed to say that, right? Of course. No, yeah. she had a little jungle I don't see fever. Why not? Shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and so I listened to Logic, and I was cool. And then heard Logic say "nigga" a couple of times, mm. and I was like, "Yo, what the fuck? Right. What's up with Cuz?" And then, like, yo, I, I, I'm gonna say this. You know, I'm not. So all the mulattoes out there, like, I love you guys. You you are kind of black. But if you don't look black, you can't say nigga. Like, the man had to take a picture with himself of him, him and his dad to prove that he was black. I had to get his, his credit. If you have to take a picture with your dad to prove you're black, don't say nigga. Just find something else to say. Say wigga. Say ninja. You know, like, motherfucker. Yeah, a question, though. How do you feel about, like, Latino males saying that shit? Like, saying nigga. But how does that play? Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like, like a I'm like big a fan. Hispanic. Yeah. I was gonna say, uh, you said la- Latino males. Yeah, how you feel about like Hispanic men saying nigga or calling you a nigga, bro? Because honestly, like, I don't really, 
I don't like it too much. Like, I'm not I don't a big mind fan. It. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got it's a not... lot of Hispanic friends. Yeah, you have it. to be my homie. And like, even then, it's like, ooh, don't be overusing nigga. Like, like, and I'm I'm gonna bleep his name out. But that nigga used to say nigga all the time. And I and I told him I said I asked him I was like, bro, like. Who the fuck just let you just say that? He's like, nah, no, I'm gonna say he wasn't saying that shit around me. That's for sure. No, I heard it. he was rapping, nigga, bro. Like he rapped it a couple of times, and I asked him, I was like, yo, why the fuck are you like saying nigga and shit? He's like, oh, I didn't know that offended you, and I was like, why do you just think you could say that shit? Like, hold you on. know, uh, you know what we should do? It'd what? be interesting. It'd be a social experiment. Are you ready for this? Yeah. What we should do is, um, so nobody else is allowed to say the n word. And you're not allowed to say like, and then we'll be good. Ice Spice, Nicki Minaj. If you haven't seen Dirty Diana, um, it's not Dirty Diana. It's called Princess Diana. Excuse me. If you haven't seen Princess Diana, um, the video, you should go watch it. Um, I mean, it's Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj with minimal clothes on. I, I don't know what else you could ask for in your life. Like you asking for more than that is kind of you just being a dickhead at that point. Petty, pretty petty. It's pretty petty. I mean, it's Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj, yeah. as little clothes as possible to be on YouTube. It, it, it's it's amazing. Aaron Aaron's jacking off to it, so he approves. Oh, for sure. Aaron I've already approves. probably beat to it to <laughs> like three or four times. For three sure. or, oh, come on, bro. Stop being Damn, modest. That's a, already, bro? Stop already. Being modest, three or bro. four times. Stop being modest. I've seen it's the... Crazy, I saw the man. video yesterday. I fucking got a good session in yesterday to it. So. Like six, seven times. Huh? Oh, not six or seven. That's ridiculous. Do I don't mean, even bro? know... I don't even know if I could bust six or seven nuts in like one day. That'd be insane. No, no, no. After like the third or fourth one, it would just be like... It wouldn't be ropes anymore. It would just be like little... Sp- oh, oh, the little like uh, pre-cums. Little, no, yeah. No, but not even that. Like kind of like it just coughed. Just ah, coughed a God. It makes... That makes sense. Yeah. No, I understand. I understand where you're going with that. I mean, that. Man. I mean, that's for I me at least I how, do understand. how it works. After like the second or third one, no ropes anymore. It's just yeah, little... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually... Is. So I... I don't know. I know, bro. You're never, ever, ever leave your fucking phone next to me again. And if you're gonna do it, put it on silent because oh, literally, man. bro, it's been getting blown up this entire time. <laughs> that is so crazy. Don't do it. Please. Oh wow. I'm that gonna say, insane. bro. Look at you, man. You talking about some you, bro? That bro, this is it's, a it's new brand a new Aaron, from bro. The same person every single time. That's crazy, bro. Smiley face, hard, hey, hard, hard. Smiley my face. Nigga shit. Oh wait, no. I, yeah, he's getting married. I guess. I don't know. bro. You getting married, bro? This might. Yeah, this might <laughs> this might be his last podcast. Damn, this is not my last podcast. I'm about to say it's like that. So speaking about shitty situations, what's happening with the airline tickets? What's happening with the airline tickets? Aren't people that are a little bit bigger in size fighting for the right to have more space on the airlines and not having to pay more than one ticket? That is insane. I what are you talking like about? That. You, you, you... That's insane that, 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 that that's happening. Are, because are you serious right now? I did send that to you, and that's crazy. Why is that happening? Yo, I'm going to keep it a bean. <laughs> I am so lost right now. What the fuck? I'm going to keep it a bean. Like, to, to sit there and say that you should get a free seat because you're fat is crazy. Because I should make you pay for two seats. If you're over a certain fucking weight limit. So, yeah, like, so. they should have, like, special type of seats made for overweight people. Like, wider seats with, like, like more expensive. I don't know. Don't Absolutely. That, I, that make I, sense? I hear you. I Absolutely. hear you definitely. But that's like aiding and abetting a crime right there. I'm, 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 all I'm saying bro, is that... American, comes, <laughs> American people are obese, bro. I, I realize that. They're but obese. all I'm saying is, is that... <laughs> It's like uh, I understand handicapped parking spaces, right. but if there's 20 handicapped parking spaces in a parking lot that only has 26 parking spots, then that defeats the purpose. At this point, how many people can fit in these seats realistically? Like 75 percent. So why are we going to compromise for the 35? Oh, the 35 or has the 25. To pay, the, the, they have to pay more. That That's just what I was has about to, to say. Yeah, right. they don't just have to pay more. Right. I mean, if you put a special go... type of seats. To a an amusement park, okay, and they tell you that the ride will not close with you on it. 
then that means that you should also still have to pay for another seat if you want nah. two seats. <laughs> nah. I'm not gonna cap. I'm not they gonna, gonna cap. Wait limit your ass, oh, bro. They gonna the niggas that know. I mean, in a plane. I mean, think about that. How crazy is that? If you are overweight, they could tell you just like, hey, you got to get off. We're yeah. not gonna tell the baby and the, nah, and the mom nah. to get off. We're not gonna tell the small family to get off. We're not gonna tell the two sisters to get off. We're gonna tell you to just get off because you count. They not gonna as do that four though. or five people. I'm yeah, not gonna. They're not gonna do that though. The niggas oh, at will. the the niggas at I the amusement it. park are ruthless, bro. They will for sure tell your big ass you can't to ride. get the fuck off the ride. You can't ride quick as hell. And I worked at an amusement park as a shorty during the summer, and dead ass. When you're going through training, they tell you like, "Yo, if the the, the seatbelt doesn't fasten, if the shit doesn't go, kick them off. Mm. They cannot ride that bitch. It is what it is. So I think they should at the at the planes be like, "Hey, yo, I mean, I feel like if you just overly overly big, then yeah, bro. Like they, yeah. it's it's a point where you just." Gotta be like, nah, bro. You a hazard to everybody, bro. Like, you can't a... get on this fucking but plane, bro. if you're bro. paying for two seats, realistically, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this person can reach into three seats. <laughs> right? Fuck so, around, yeah. at this point, pay for the two seats. You have to. That's pay for the two standard. seats. Pay for the two seats. It's like it's eating probably ass not going to be comfortable, fuck. but nobody asked you to gain so much weight. Exactly. Right. It's you know like eating I mean? ass when you fuck. It's standard. I understand if you have a medical condition, but again, we go back to handicap now. But if you're going to sit here and you're going to just stuff up on McDonald's and Burger King and expect to get a free seat, I mean, bro, what if you're hiding a, like another like dwarf in that jacket of yours? You know what I mean? Like, what if you just wanted the free seat? What if we're now just fucking playing games and you want the free seat? Nobody's going to say, "Hey, sir." Hi, ma'am. Can you please lift up your shirt so I, I make sure that there's no small person hiding <laughs> in your stomach? You know what I mean? Nobody's going to do that, especially not in this era but where just... fat shaming is terrible. No, fat you know what I think about fat thing. shaming? I think fat shaming is not OK. I think you know what I do, okay. do? Do you know what I do think is OK, though? Mm. It's making fun of people about being fat. I mean, just a little fun, because making a little fun of somebody for being fat is enough motivation to tell that person, hey, you need to get in the gym. OK, yeah. that's all I'm saying. That's um, for a man. A man will go to the gym immediately if somebody says, yo, like you're losing it, bro. A woman. They're not going to go to the gym because they don't take, you know, responsibility for any of their actions. But right. the man, I'm telling, no, 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 the man, I'm telling you, if you tell somebody, just make fun of them a little bit, they're going to be like, okay, like maybe I should start questioning my life choices. I, I'm just saying. No, bro, it's true if, because it, it, it's an unhealthy thing. You shouldn't be doing it. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. you can't, you can't fuck when you're fat. Okay. I can't do you're, it. You're you're at risk for cardiac arrest. Mm -hmm. Okay, and on top of that, everything is in slow motion. Do you want somebody doing the beeping noises when you're backing up because you got to go backwards because you can't go forwards because you got somebody in the aisle and you can't get through? Like, come on, yeah, bro. Petty People are doing those beeping noises in the head. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, they, yeah, they beep, petty beep, as fuck. Beep, beep. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna lie. When I was like a fat nigga, like. Man, it was crazy. Stairs. But see, bro, you weren't fat enough to fit into two seats. You still no, fit into yeah, one no. seat. I still you might have been a little uncomfortable, but you fit into one seat. Oh, it was very Definitely. uncomfortable. Dude, they literally amplify and glorify the, the fact of being bigger. I mean, now we have plus size models, all this stuff. And it's I'm only saying, women. Uh, yeah, it's only too. women. No, That's true. Totally, You're not going to see no, a man with a uh, beer gut. No, no there's no man with a beer gut. over like big man models. No, 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 they, no, God, they do. No, they do, bro. You know they have? They do. They have husband calling in county bro. fairs in Indiana. They have a, a category for <laughs> big men and fashion over. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> they got just about any size, like for any type of clothes that needs to be. Oh, like, they do. And they yeah, also model, have bro. transgender clothing in Target now. Oh, what I is know transgender that. clothing? What? I, I don't know. Gender I was just neutral. Say, can't they just wear the, the gender, gender neutral? That, I don't know, bro. I'm not gender even neutral. I'm not clothing? digging into that. What the fuck? Gender neutral clothing. What the fuck is transgender so, clothing? So, um, gender neutral bathrooms. Yeah. So my girlfriend told me the other day while we were at Target that yeah, they so they sell uh like gender neutral clothing now at Target, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm like. That doesn't that's, make no sense. It doesn't make any sense, but what that's a fuck? billion dollar billion dollar idea right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Let's make people believe that these are gender neutral clothes. Yo, I bet so we could just profit off of it. Yo, that's I bet all is in there going cool at the ginger neutral store, bro. <laughs> going nuts. What is 
identify herself as? I don't fucking know, and I don't think she knows either. I'll be honest. Okay, cool. We're moving on. We're going. We're going. We're going to the next one. Um, no, that is crazy though. Gender neutral clothes. That's. That wasn't a move on. You had a brain, yeah. You had a brain fart there, huh, bro? That, that was the same subject, that my friend. Seg- that was the segue <laughs> into the seeing, segue of I'm the seeing, same segment. I'm- Five hours later, to make people believe that these are now gender neutral clothes when anybody can just wear these kind of clothes or anybody can just wear these kind of clothes that is a profit move that is a billion dollar move target if you want to support this part podcast i i i have full faith in you because you are literally making people believe you're hypnotizing people into the fact that they now have a section of clothing that they have to wear you know the motherfuckers gonna go cop that shit too bro you know it's gonna be people copping that shit oh no and target has amazing clothing it really yeah they do they're like like good fellow brand and whatever like they like they're plain tees like they're just they're good good clothing man so now you know you can just take men's clothing and women's clothing and put them in one section and that's the gender neutral clothing, and now they're going to profit off of it because it says gender neutral. That's crazy. Yeah, that's Isn't that awesome, stupid. though? Target's oh, doing it, awesome. man. I, guess I mean, so. yeah. get a bag. They I, getting their money, shit. They Fuck are. It. Get their money. Are. Get yo, y'all money, Target. Gotta, yo, Profiting some, off sheep. Yeah. At some point, we got to like hit Target up and like... I don't shop either, at Target, bro. I don't shop there neither, but like they're making a lot of money, so uh, they have a vault somewhere of where the cash is hidden. I'm just saying it's a three-man job. There's three of us on the podcast. I will never rob a bank with you, Aaron. I will never. Like you we could talk target, into though. specifics. We could talk. Yeah, I know. But I, I mean, I know where he's going with this, and he's had this plan <laughs> since the day I met him. Since we were 12 years old, man, Yo, he's been talking about a three-man job, job that'll never you, happen because it's a bit. Yo, it's shit, literally man. a bit. I'm telling you, we just need a third person, bro. And yeah, I'm Robert telling Michael you, if you're, if you're down, bro. Listen, Aaron is the worst coordinator ever. Great friend. <laughs> he's a great friend. He'll never let you down on being a friend. He'll be there for you. He'll drink with you. He'll cry with you. He'll laugh with you. He'll get angry with you. He'll beat someone up with you all day. He's a great friend all around. He's got all these these circle these circle fine edges but when it comes down to it i'll never ever ever listen to him when it comes down to an authority gig like this he will fuck it up in an instant he will not show up on time for the robbery we'll be sitting there waiting in the fucking car and this man will be like oh bro i just woke up on esteban's couch like hold on you know what i'm saying (laughs) you know what i mean bro He's yeah, the type man. of guy, bro, that you literally, you know, you go to the club with, you go to the bar with, you, you might even go to the museum with, because, you know, he's he's got the smarts like that. But you never rob or steal anything what? with this guy, because that would just be asking to go to jail. Honestly, that'd be like working with a rookie cop. This guy is so uncoordinated. That's not true. true. It is true. It absolutely is true. Your plan is terrible. It's a great plan. It's, all right. So run through the plan real quick. All right. So it's a three-man job, right? Go at night, obviously. All black. That's the attire. Now, you know those uh the little things that they have like to cut the 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 glass with the little glass cutter things? We hit that, boom, we get to the vault, and then easy peasy. Some we GTA got in and shit, out. man. Like so who's gonna open the vault? Well, I mean, I'm sure we'll just blast it. With what? Well, I mean, dynamite is definitely needed. Where are we going to get the dynamite? That's a good question. You see how uncoordinated this man is? <laughs> this man literally had a whole plan, had no idea how to get the supplies, <laughs> and then was trying to fish throughout the whole question. He was like, well, well, we could do this. He's literally bouncing ideas off of me as he's formulating this plan that he's been talking about since we were 12, bro. I will never, ever rob anything, especially not a multi-million dollar business like Target with this dude. Yeah, I dude, uh, I would literally be better at finding somebody that is heavily addicted to drugs on the street and walking into a Walmart and walking out with a shopping cart full of things and not get caught other oh, than shit. doing anything with this man. I'm just saying. Great I'm friend, t- great friend, crazy, great podcast uh, co-host, but yeah. No. I'm telling you, bro. It's a good plan, bro. We just—it's a three-man job. We no, just... it's a one-man job. Yeah, you and know you're for sure it's a three-man job, though. That's for sure. Huh? I say you know it's a three-man job. Oh, that's for, for sure. sure. No, it's a three-man so job. So what is what is what is Vicious gonna do if he was part of this? 
Oh, well, I don't know, man. This nigga's a little too tall to be, <laughs> to be oh. Robin shit. Oh, okay. All right. Well, well, we'll just leave him on the court then. Hey, I'll well, be the getaway driver. How you about gotta that? be the getaway driver for sure. And then yeah, me, I'll bro, be me the getaway and you going there all black, bro, because we're around the same height. You know, not like going that bitch way. guns blazing, or just like y'all got y'all going. We're gonna go in at night. Okay. You know, Vicious is gonna be our getaway driver. So it's gonna be me. So and you're you. just gonna tail him into this, huh? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, wait, how much? Wait, what's my cut looking like, bro? Like, dude, I this guy's trying to rob a Target right now in this bit. So I don't how know how much money we talking about, bro. With about, this case, bro. Mm, we should be. We should make upwards about twenty five thousand. <laughs> my nigga, I might as well get up and go to work. <laughs> what dude. the fuck, bro? All right, all right. Okay. Eight thousand in your bank account tomorrow. Carry on with your shitty plan. I might as well get up and go to work, bro. So, Carry on with your shitty plan. <laughs> we're gonna, you know, obviously we have to buy dynamite and we have to buy that device. That yeah, where are we gonna buy it. these things? It doesn't matter. We'll we'll get it, bro. We'll definitely get the dynamite shit. Okay. But we're gonna get that little glass cutter. We're gonna cut the glass, and there'll probably be like an overnight team there. We'll hit the safe. Boom, we're gone. How much money do you think is in the safe at a Target when most people that shop at Targets are paying with a card? Like, how much does be... Target even have a safe? Yeah, I, I'm sure they it do. It should be upwards of like at least 25 grand. 25 I feel like grand. It would be you think more, though. And the Target? Yeah. I feel like it'd be more. No. Yeah. I feel like it would. No. Depends on what Target. How many registers? There's going to be about like 20. Yeah. 20 registers. How many of them, right? Are you ready? How many of them are self serve? What, probably like ten? Out of twenty. But then, how many people are actually working at those counters that are that are not self serve? No, we're not going to run up all the money at at the end of the day. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. We're going to. They don't take the money out of the machine. I don't think they take the money out of the machine every day. Yes, they do. No, not out of the self serve ones. I don't mm-hmm. think they do. This. Yes, they I do. Think, no, I think they. No, have, I know they do. they do. I think when though, no, because they. I know they to, do though. Because they have to be able to give change back. What are you talking? At about? grocery stores, they do. They definitely At grocery do. stores. And Target's, Target's not considered a grocery store. But it's, it's a gender the same. Neutral it's store. the same thing. It's the yeah. same thing as a grocery store. I don't know. Shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say that's true. That's what I'm saying, okay, bro. Keep going with this elaborate plan. So yeah, we hit that safe. Um, we open it, get the bread out, and then we're back in the whip. We're gone. We switch whips. Midway through, and um, boom. Okay, so who's getting shot first? Well, I mean, definitely you, bro. Why am I getting shot first if I haven't even agreed to do this? I was gonna say it'd probably be me or you, bro. Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> <what? laughs> well, then not me. As long as it's not me. So if that has so to be you, be but me. yeah, you probably gotta get shot. But you, you don't. You're only driving, so you'll be good, bro. It's not racist when it's a black on black crime, right? Absolutely not. No, nah, but it's very stereotypical, though. <laughs> very stereotypical. <laughs> like, in every fucking movie, bro, every, like, oh, 90s shit. Boys in the Hood type movie, it's always, like, that black-on-black crime shit, man. It should be trash. Very stereotypical. And, I, yeah, I, I probably wouldn't be part of this scene. <laughs> nah. I'd be at home. You'd be, like, one of the, like, employees that work at the bank or something ah. you have like that five minute like clip yeah yeah of me be, saying like sitting there shaking yeah with the and key. me and aaron we and that bitch robbing you and shit yeah you're like robbing please, bank. Sir. you gotta cut the beard though because you look like with the beard you kind of look like a menace to society do i um i got a question menace? for you uh vicious what's up do i uh do i look like a terrorist with this beard no nah, absolutely not, not. A it's terrorist. not too much no nah, not yeah. a terrorist bro then why do i get molested uh in uh tsa you got blue eyes, bro. Like, first of all, right. you're, you're Caucasian. I, I would, I'd like to hope. You come off as Caucasian to me, not a terrorist. So, I mean, not to sound racist or anything, but nah. I don't know. I couldn't even say it was like, uh, I, I, I really believe that this man thought that wasn't, I was um, I was holding something. Wasn't it um, like an Asian man, too? The guy, he could have been of Asian descent, yes. No, he was Russian, though, bro. And you know, I don't know. Them motherfuckers are crazy, bro. Yeah, they as soon as I went in there, KGB motherfucker. <laughs> I had uh, as soon as I went in, uh, obviously to get on my uh, plane, went through TSA. Yeah, I was in there for about three seconds, and then this guy points me out. I beep going through, pulls me over to the side, and he's like, "Hey, do you want me to do this here, or you want me to take you in the back room?" <laughs> what? Yeah. What the fuck was he talking about? <laughs> 
<laughs> what the fuck? That sound. I didn't, yeah, I didn't like the way that sound, bro. So I looked at him and serious hand on everything, bro. I looked at him. I said, if you're going to molest me, I'd rather you do it in public. <laughs> so he looked at me and explained to me exactly what he was going to do to me. He said, okay, so I'm going to brush my hand down here, your leg, and I'm going to brush my hand up and I'm going to brush my hand down here and I'm going to brush my hand up. And in the process of him searching me in sweatpants, by the way, it's not like you really can hide anything in sweatpants. No right. metal aglets, nothing fucking went off in that metal detector, but just... something went off. Okay. I, I believe the TSA guys have a little button that they just push on the side. I, I just got that's... a feeling that they think somebody looks suspicious. That's my like... theory. That's yeah. my theory. And they but press the button and shit. As this man is slowly swiping up my leg as he's looking into my eyes, he brushes across my sack. And at that point, I was, I was feeling really violated. Yeah, that's fucked up, dude. So I ask you, like, do I look like, you know, somebody that could be of terrorist descent? Because when terrorist I was in this moment, I believe that this man either A, wanted to cop a feel of my junk, or B, believed that I could be involved in some sort of ice crime. I feel like, um, well, to me, you don't look like a terrorist. Thank you, bro. Um, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Um, Yo, so I don't want to say I'm going to go with A, bro, but I don't know, bro. Like, you can never tell nowadays, man. Right. Like, you can never tell, you know. Maybe you just got that look, bro, because in earlier you were talking about the guy that pulls his pants down and pulls his shirt up to go take a piss. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He was bullying you. Maybe yeah. you might have, like, a certain look or something, bro. I don't know, bro. I'm not too sure with that, but... God. The people just like to bully they me. Just, huh? They just pick you out, bro. Yeah. I don't know. You out know of a crowd. Like, yeah. Yeah, bro. I don't know, man. I see. I don't you, even you know don't how look to like take a terrorist, that. though, bro. You don't. You're Thank not. A, you're not a terrorist, Thank bro. You. you don't look like a terrorist. Nah, you just like, look like a. You don't look like a guy that I want to bully either, though. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. don't look soft or anything, bro. I so I mean, you just look like Peter Parker when you shave. When I shave the beard. Yeah, yeah bro. People just. I don't know. They they pick you out because you got this unique look or something. You know. I did notice that when I uh, when I shave my beard and I go to the gym, all the uh, white older men like to just flock across me. And I believe this is uh, some sort of Jeffrey Dahmer situation, but I don't want to be too sure. What the fuck gym do you go to, bro? Uh, that's PF, Planet Fitness. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a lot of bullshit that goes on at Planet Fitness. See, the thing is, dude, is that nobody right. came up to me yeah. once. I shaved the beard off. Everybody wants to come up to me like they want to play fucking sword fight like in the bathroom. You look like Five years younger if you shave your beard, bro. He does. I do. He I looks do. like Peter Parker, swear to God. I'm, People I'm... ID me when I'm driving. Yeah. He looks like Tobey Maguire. He's Damn. fucking Tobey Maguire. Yeah, when Tobey he's... Maguire. He's That's fucking crazy. Peter Parker. Not Tom Holland? Not Tom Holland. Not no, Tom no. Holland. Absolutely. That's he's not Toby. fucking Zendaya. Absolutely uh, not. He's... You know, Aaron... Not... Um... Well, I mean... Aaron... Aaron's <laughs> the type of person that... Uh, he holds resentment very quickly. What he do you just mean? doesn't let that kind of stuff go. So if not true. there's a situation where he feels like he's been got on, then he wants to take back. And it doesn't not matter true. who he's taking it back from. It's it doesn't even true. have to be the person that deceived him. It's not true uh, at all. Yeah. That's so not he, true. That's the kind of he just he's a succubus. That's oh wow. Succubus. Yeah, you're a you're a, a fucking whore, bro. I a can't succubus. stand you. A succubus. A succubus. I can't stand you. Or like a uh a small leech. A small leech. But okay. not in the way that you would think. Just in the way of he wants to dish back something to somebody I, that doesn't deserve it. You know? Yeah, I mean, I don't Zendaya's know. Zendaya is being, you know, happily uh, screwed by Tom Holland. Bro, maybe I'm now, maybe not later. Beat the shit and, out of Tom uh, Holland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's mad about it. And he wants to take it out on me. That's what it is. I mean, shorty like white boys. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, like, beautiful black women that go for white men. And to each his own. But Honestly, it's just I think a shame that, for the black. It's a shame for the niggas. You know what I'm saying? I think Zendaya would go <laughs> like, for him. He's just got to drop the fucks and he's got to drop the likes. Yeah, you know you're a piece or, of shit. Or he's got to get the likes up. One of the two. Get that you check. Got mark. Audition for Spider Man, bro. That's true. You, you could. Do. You could be the next uh, black Spider Man. Um, Miles Morales, Princess Diana, Ice Spice, Nicki Minaj. Out now. It's in your phones. Go listen to it. <laughs> Aaron's getting paid for it and shit. So he's advertising. Are we, bro, I was about to say, why are it's we advertising now? A dose of reality in your phones. 
Yeah, well, all right. Yeah, no, Aaron has been officially cut off. Somebody mute his mic. Nicki um, Minaj. Vicious, bro. Ice Thank spice. you. Are you done? <laughs> Are you done? Are you done? Oh, you're a dickhead. Are you done? You're such a dickhead. I can't stand you so much. Are you done? Yo, Vicious, it's been a great right, bro. <laughs> it's been a great podcast. Man, thank y'all for having me yeah, again. Yeah, bro. Thank man. you for coming on. Yo. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for coming on. It's it's you been a pleasure. Know, bro. <laughs> Anytime, man. Anytime, bro. Yo, I can't stand you, bro. Like Yo, you have your guests here all the time. You can you can close out with your guests, bro. All right. Uh Peace. Cool. Vicious has been here. It's been a great time. Thank Thanks guys, for stopping man. through a dose of reality. Absolutely. We appreciate man. Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you for liking, subscribing, <laughs> watching, commenting, and sharing a dose of reality. You have something like, to say, buddy. I do. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching at home. And uh, again, uh, disregard everything that Aaron just said. Uh, <laughs> thank you for, for coming in. Yo, I can't uh, stand his mic you. Is muted right now as I we can't speak. Fucking stand Nobody you. can actually see him right here. <laughs> um, Thank you, Vicious, lame, for coming bro. in. I uh, yes, I really sir. appreciate it. Uh, happy 420, everybody. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting. Peace. All the wonderful comments that you have to share. And Absolutely. that uh, big brain of yours. And Aaron, Aaron, uh, thank you, bro, for being here. Uh, thank you for being present. I, I, uh, <laughs> I really appreciate that. Thank you for coming here on such short notice, even though we know that you woke up on someone else's couch. <laughs> Yo, so, shout out uh, Esteban. Happy out birthday, Esteban. nigga. Uh, so shout much love to everybody, and uh, thank you, Adore fans. We will see you next time. Thank you for coming in to get your weekly dose. Deuces. <laughs>